Hi everybody, it's Micah here. Um, lots been weighing on my mind lately. And uh, the other day, about a few weeks ago, I was trying to look up numbers, trying to see how much plant life we've lost and uh, at what rate we're losing plant life on the planet, on this planet of ours. And I quickly found out that there were no numbers. There were some estimates for small amounts. One person had an estimate for how many trees we've lost, and it wasn't particularly accurate. It just said we've lost 50% of all trees since the dawn of man. So I started doing my own digging, and uh, these are not by any means accurate numbers, but I do believe um, they do shed some light into how bad our situation is. And uh, based off of my calculations, we have lost about 50 quadrillion trees worth of plant life in the past 20 years. Um, just to put that in perspective for you, that represents 29% of all plant life since 2000 that we have lost, whether through fire, famine, uh, production, um, uh, land development, whatever that might be, or from desertification, uh, you know, some parts of the world, they are losing plant life naturally, not just artificially. But most of this plant life is being lost by man-made efforts. And that is really troubling to me. And I've been quite sad um, lately because of it. And... Um, I think it's really sad because I know that this planet, uh, whether you believe in God or whether you believe that we just evolved out of this planet, this planet is a source of survival. It is a source of nutrition, a source of life for us as humans. Yes, we have the capacity to be this leech, this destructive force to really destroy, but in the end, we're also um, animals. We're, you know, human beings are animals, and we are part of this ecosystem. And I know that if we just lived in closer connection with it, that we'd be all right. And, and, and that's so difficult to even believe because we've, we've withdrawn ourselves so much. I mean, here I am. I'm in this man-made area. This is a man-made a canal made to get rid of rainwater here in uh, Arizona. Got a bunch of buildings back here. I got a plane flying over me. I've got some plant life here, but in my home, I've got hardly anything. And I'm, I love plants. I mean, we give out plants to people and we try and maintain as much as we can for ourselves. But man, am I removed? I don't know where the plants I get for vegetables are, where they're grown. I don't. I don't see them, I don't interact with them, I don't get to enjoy them in that way. I just buy them at the grocery store and eat them. And it's a really sad existence that I have to live with so few plants in my life. Even though I love them, even though I'm seeking them out. And, uh, and I'm also humbled by the fact that I've also done some other number crunching. In that past 20 years, we have only planted 20 billion new trees. And if you don't know the difference between 20 billion and 50 quadrillion, 50 quadrillion is 2.5 billion times bigger. Not 2.5 billion more, 2.5 billion times bigger number than 20 billion trees. Um, I don't know about you, but I don't want to have to wait 50 billion years to replenish the plant population in the earth just so I can have good air in my home. Um, if you're as scared as I am by these numbers, um, this includes the land and the sea. The sea has more plant life than the land, but the land is in some ways doing worse than the sea. Um, in some ways, the sea is doing worse than the land. Donate today. We use every penny to getting houseplants to people. Um, it's one thing to try and replenish the plant life outside. 
It's a difficult task, as we talked about 50 billion years before we replenish the plant life on the earth. We can't wait that long. We need a personal solution. And uh, air filters don't do it. They just don't. Plant life is the best. And it's not just air. It's uh, even just looking at it improves your mood and uh, means you're less likely to have depression. It's, plants are wonderful things. They are a counterpoint to our existence. If we exist, then there needs to exist something to allow us to survive. Or else the first man to live on this earth would have been the last man. And plants are that counterpoint. They, um, when they touch the earth and when they die and leave their dead bodies to rot in the earth, it creates a charge that is nice to our feet and gets rid of cancer cells and improves the electrical charge in our bodies. When they touch and drink the water, when it comes out, it's more alkaline. Rainwater is acidic. And so after the plants touch it, is it better for us to drink? It doesn't give us heartburn every time we drink water. Uh, we eat the fruit of the plant. We look at the plant and it inspires us and we can have a relationship with them that also fulfills our emotional needs. Um, consider getting plants today. Right now, um, you need about two medium-sized plants per square foot of your home. Don't be daunted by that. Just get some shelves and fill them up. Um, it'll, it's worth your time. It's worth your effort. I've talked to so many plant people over the past few years since we've gotten involved. And one thing is clear. Every single plant person that I talk to is glad they got plants. And they consider the relationship with their plants to be quite special. Plants give back. They give back. And they, will, you know, they willingly serve us. They willingly clean our air. And they love our air. They love just sucking up the air that we breathe out. And, uh, yeah. Donate today. You can go to our bio. We have a link for a GoFundMe. Please consider, fun, uh, you know, giving of some funds. Every penny counts, like I said. And we're hoping to really increase the plant population in people's homes um, as much as we possibly can. So join us, become a part of the team. We'd love to have you. We'd love to make a difference in this world and not just feel saddened, but do something about it. And uh, until next time.